Hey everyone, this is the video tutorial on how to utilize your entry planning forms. Um, by now you should be receiving your fair book in the mail. Um, they were mailed out the beginning of May, so they should be there shortly. Um, if you have not received yours by about the second week in May, please let us know. Um, we can uh, get one out to the mail for you. Um, if you'd like to get a jump start on it before you get your book in the mail, you can always go to our website, which is CC. LivingstonCounty.org. This is the first page that it will bring you to. At the top, you can click on 4-H Youth. And then on the left-hand side, there's a link. This is Hemlock and New York State Fairs. Click that. And then this will give you lots of resources for fair in general. Um, but down here, right in the middle, where it says fair information, um, the third bullet down, you'll find a link to our county fair book. Okay, so it can be accessed online as well. Okay, so just to go through the fair book a little bit, um, this page number three, this is a lot of very important information that you should definitely read through. And then our schedule, and then the table of contents. Um, these are all the different departments and sections that you can find in the fair book. Um, but we're going to focus on everything that's right down here, um, all of the planning forms for um, clover buds for animals, and then our um, animals and horses. So we're going to jump right over to the clover bud exhibit planning form first. Um, clover buds we're trying to keep super simple. Um, you're simply going to check the species that you plan to exhibit um, and then the rest of this is already pre-filled for you and it will, um, the system will go right in this order of department section and class and then on the right hand side here, just put a check mark there if you plan to bring your own animal. Um, once you're in the system and entering the showmanship class, it will there'll be a question in there that you'll need to answer of whether or not you're going to bring your own animal. And that's just so that we make sure we have enough um, stalls or cages for whatever species you're bringing. Okay. Um, and then just a note at the bottom, if you are planning on exhibiting swine and you're a clover bud, um, and you want to bring your own pig, please contact Mark, um, and his email is here at the bottom. Okay, and this is the planning form for our 4-H um, age members. Um, there's a lot of important information at the top that everybody does need to read through, um, but down here, you're going to do exactly as this first example line says. Um, you just need to find that department number, your section number, class number, and then just write out the class name. Okay. Um, for animal ID, that's going to vary depending on the species that you're showing, um, and that will be the ID that's required within the fair entry system as you're entering that animal type. Um, if you if you've got large animals, you're going to need to put in an ear tag. Um, poultry and dogs, you will need to put a name in. Or if you have poultry, you can also put a leg band number in. Either or is perfectly fine. Um, let's see. And then, of course, animal birth date, breed. If they're purebred, if they're crossbred, you can just put crossbred. Um, and then if they have a registration number, you can toss that in there. Um, this planning form is not required, um, but it is it's set up to help you through the fair entry system. Um, as you work your way through that system, making your entries, it will literally work across this page from left to right um, with all the information that you're putting in this. Okay, any of the information that is um, on this form, it is going to be required um, within the system. So use this to your advantage. Okay, and then finally, our horse planning form. A um, little bit different than last year, but kind of the same idea. Um, all you're going to do is just write that class number in these boxes. Um, really simple. We tried to, to simplify last year's um, entry form, and this will again kind of correlate with the system. You'll select that de the horse department, your section, and then you're just going to check mark all of the classes that you've written in these boxes. Okay, that is all for this tutorial. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to get a hold of us.